Hey kindergartners, it's Mrs. Black, and for science today, we're going to be talking about rocks. In the previous lesson, Mrs. Breidenbaugh talked to you about landforms, and along with that in this chapter, we need to talk about rocks. Let's start with how we sort them. So take a look at the children here in the big book, and as you can see, they're using a sorting plate, and they're probably sorting by some of the ways that we have done in the past, when we've used our senses in science, and also in math class to sort things at the beginning of the year, we would sort by color, size, shape, and kind. Well, we're going to give this a try today, and I'm going to add a few other ways that we can also sort rocks by that maybe you haven't thought of, which would be the weight, okay, would be the hardness, and the texture, which is the way that it feels. All right, so let's go ahead and start. We're going to look at these two sorting mats with sizes, big and small. So let's start by size, right? We've got two big ones on there already. I'm going to add to it. So let me pick out the big ones, and let's put the big ones on the big mat. All right, and now let's put all the small rocks over here on the small mat. See, it's pointed the little mouse there. All right, so we can sort rocks by size, big and small. Now let's go to color. Okay, we'll put rocks that are one color on this mat and rocks that are many different colors and shades on this mat. Okay, I love this one. <laughs> Lots of different shades of purple there. Okay, one color, we'll put this one here, it's white, so we've got three white ones there, a green one, tan and brown. Okay, one color, pink. Okay. All right, I think that has some different shades of like browns, a little bit of reddish in there, so we'll put that with many colors. So again, one color, here's a brown one, a black one, and many different colors. Okay, so take a look at those mats. We've got one colored stones over here and many different colors over here in shades. Okay, now we're going to go to weight. So I've got the heavy rocks on this mat and the lighter rocks, okay, over here. And I can just simply feel in my hand, is it heavy to carry or lighter to carry? So again, we'll put the heavy ones here, the lighter ones over here, and let's keep sorting. Heavy and those light ones that are little, don't take much effort to carry right over here. Okay, so we've got the heavy ones and the light ones. So that's sorting by weight. Now let's look at the hardness of the rocks. So these rocks are softer, which means they have like a grainy feel to them, kind of flaky. Okay, when I, when I touch it, it's not as hard. Maybe if I tap it, some grains come off on it or some flakes. And we've got some hard ones down here then that are very tough. Okay, so let's look at some of these. So if it is soft, ooh, look, a little piece fell off of that piece right there, of that rock right there. So that's definitely soft. Okay, hard, hard, all right, hard. Okay, softer, softer with those flakes and grains, hard. Oh, look at the flakes on that one, soft. Oh, this has, it, this feels like I'm rubbing over salt on this one, so definitely soft. Okay. All right, hard. Piece of a gate, so soft. Okay, very lightweight. Feels like I could just break it, so definitely soft. All right, so soft rocks and hard rocks. So that was based on hardness, and now we're going to come over here for the texture, so this is how it feels. Is it smooth or is it bumpy? Oh, look at that. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy over here on this mat. That's a pretty one, isn't it? Okay. The smooth ones almost have like a shine to it. We can get in there, Ms. Mr. Black, to see a close up of those. Look how shiny those are. Okay. Smooth. And here's some more bumpy ones. Some of these look like they have been cut and that's where the bumps are. When I run my fingers over it, very lumpy, bumpy. Okay, and these are flat and smooth. Okay, it looks like a triangle kind of there, doesn't it? All right, we have some that look like cubes. Okay, there's a round circular one. All right, okay, so we just sorted rocks in many different ways here, and I wanna show you with the big book, they also sorted rocks by size like we did. Look at this uh, machine here, this construction machine. It's sorting rocks by big, medium, 
and small. And then they're counting how many rocks are in their groups and graphing that. So I'm going to attach these sorting mats. If you have a rock collection of your own, you can do some rock sorting like we just did to practice this. And then in, in part two, the next part, I'm going to be talking to you about some different kinds of rocks. And we're going to work on describing them and teaching you some facts about some rocks that maybe you've never seen before. Okay, so stay tuned. Part two is coming next.